Oh, there's a storm coming, people. Uh, yeah, things are moving. And uh, actually, we're gonna be moving some tortoises today. We're finally getting off our butts. We're making a video. You guys are coming along for the ride with me. We're gonna load up one of my Rubbermaid carts and we're gonna take the radiated tortoises from where they are and we're gonna move them to the front yard. This is Camp Kennedy. Anyway, we're gonna move them from here where they've been for oh, just about a year and a half, two years. Okay, this whole enclosure. And we're gonna bring them to the very front. Lots of grass to eat, beautiful aquascape ecosystem ponds for them to drink out of. I think it'll be a really cool change. Now, why am I doing this? Well, there's my front gates. Here's the radiated tortoises. I kind of want to keep these guys a little bit closer to my home. I think it's a little bit safer. Uh, plus, this is such a large area, right? So large, they've been breeding up a storm and I want to make sure that I can get all of their eggs, that I have a better chance at finding the eggs. And here they come now. They are all actually coming over to me, which is always convenient. Hey kids. Now, the other reason I want to move them is because since it is breeding season, they're going to be laying soon, so I know I'll be able to get eggs from them. Uh, but the other reason is, is that when the male mounts, another male sometimes comes over and knocks him off and he flips upside down and I want to be able to be around quick enough to get him up and off the ground if he can't flip himself over. So what we're going to do is we're going to pick these guys up. Uh, there are, oh gosh, at last count, I believe there's seven seven there's the seventh right there uh and that's gonna be really cool oh no there's eight tortoises my bad i knew it was eight i originally had ten and uh, unfortunately two passed away um so now we have eight uh shall we do it all right let's go let's get the guy that was in the weeds first we're gonna come over here and we're gonna load a few of them up and we're gonna take them on where'd it go we're gonna take them oh, there. That's pretty fast, huh? We're gonna take them out and get them right on that grass. They're gonna love it. They're gonna have a lot of grass to eat. Um, so don't be alarmed. I'm gonna pick them up like this. Oh, I love picking them up. They have little handles. We pick them up like this nice and gently and we're gonna head on over and we're gonna put this little gal along with a few more uh, into the front yard. And this way they'll have some nice grass to graze on too. That's another bonus. Now there's a couple of things when you move tortoises, guys. Um, it's so funny. If you have a colony of tortoises like I have here, um, sometimes you can move them, whether it's like I'm doing just in the yard to a new area, or if you move them to a whole new, like for example, when animals come from zoos or something, it disrupts them. Um, so they may lay, they will lay their eggs this year, but it's possible, it's very possible that they will not lay next year because they need to get readjusted to their new enclosure or it'll be no big deal. So it's kind of a crapshoot. You never know what's gonna happen. I love this tortoise, this is one of my favorite ones. Just a beautiful domed shell. Oh, I can't wait to get these guys out and moved. So here's number three. Let's start with these three. We'll head over there. I don't want to overload them since they're so close anyway. We're just going to get this going. The long trip. And the other cool thing is I'm going to be on hand for the rest of the day and the week to make sure um, how I want to see how they interact with the water feature. Because uh, it is deep enough that if they somehow fell in, they could drown. But the saving grace is that the sides are easy to climb up and out of. So I don't think there's gonna be any problems even if they go fully in. Uh, the tortoises are pretty darn smart. They're pretty smart. There you go, this is your new home. Now, um, about the new home, I'm gonna to have to build them a little shed and we are gonna be building a little stream right here too. So I'm gonna to have to kind of um, keep them out of the way when next month my good buddy John Adams comes to do the uh, build on that water feature. There's another tortoise. Oh, and here's a big one. This one's heavy. Easy does it. I'm standing on ants, of course. Oh, the fire ants here are brutal. Oh, oh, oh God, that hurts. Oh, look at these fire ants. Oh, I, I hope you guys don't mind. I just squashed those ants. I could care less. All right, let's get... What that? What's that? like death over here somewhere. Really? Yeah, just when I walk back there. Hmm. You could check it out later. Yeah, I don't know. I smelled something too. Now I'm nervous. 
You smell it over here too? Yeah. Now, last time we smelled something like this, it was an alligator. It was actually an alligator on the other side of the fence. See, this is why I want to move this guy. Yeah, well, he's so moving. mean. He's mean. He's the meanest. Well, he kind of is. I think he's... I think he's sexually frustrated, and that's the problem. Yeah, he's a bully. Yeah, it's, you know, it's mating time, and we got to make sure we get these guys to their new home. All right. Yeah, we'll come back. Don't worry. I won't forget about death. No, I don't either. I just, it's annoying that we don't know what it is. It may not actually be on our property. That's the thing. Yeah, we did. You were interrupted but the last time it smelled like death, it was on the other it was on the other side yeah, of the fence. Yeah, and it was an alligator. All right, let's get these guys right Wait, over we here. got there's one more. No, there's not. Well, there's... Look at the hello. Oh, there's other ones. I was gonna say, don't leave this little guy behind. Oh, there's three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, this is the last ones. We got them in two trips. Let's see how the tortoises are doing. Oh. God, now watch over here. There's ants over here. We'll go let them go in this area. I'm happy to move them though. Where are the ants? Right out to your left. Okay, I'll go. Look, they're just, they're already grazing. Look at that guy. He's already eating the grass. Go ahead. Oh, good. Look at them over there. People love to see them eating. That's they're the nice whole little. Reason. I love keeping them on the grass. Much happier on the grass. And I'm much happier because I won't have to mow here any longer. Look at this, as soon as I put him down. Now the jerk is eaten. Maybe that's why he's a jerk. He's just know. hangry. He's hangry? I don't know. That's probably funny. He's like, ah, oh, Very is cool. So good. Look at, they're all yeah, just they're getting right to it. I think this is a good move. I think they're gonna be very happy here. Let's go show everybody what's going on. So you guys know the aquascape ecosystem ponds. We're putting a stream in here. They'll be able to drink from it. Uh, next month there'll be a stream right here going into the original pond. But at the moment, these tortoises are able to walk down to the water's edge, get a drink, say hello to the fish. They can walk on over all this area. I mean, it's a really large area that these guys are going to have. And I like it because it's close to the house. I'll be able to see better when they lay eggs. Uh, they'll have a nice area to lay eggs. They have areas to kind of hide, get out of the sun. We're going to put a shed up, a small enclosure for them during the cold months. They have this running babbling brook here in Sophia's Pond. So they have access to a lot of fresh, clean water, which is just fantastic. And uh, all this green, green grass is really going to be a plus. Uh, and then in the cold months, oh, we're about to get totally rained on can here. We, can we? Yeah, let's speed it up. You get moving. Bye. Love ya. Yeah, the storms, it's summer. So the storms blow in, man. It's incredible. You can see it's not pretty and it's coming. So in the meantime, I just want you guys to see what's happening. These guys are awesome. They're doing good. They're grazing. They're all here and all accounted for. We got eight radiated tortoises enjoying their new home and doing a very good job of weeding right now. Thank you so much. They're going to do awesome. So this is really, really cool, everybody. So just to recap a few things, when you move your tortoises, uh, if you have a breeding colony such as these radiated tortoises, it is possible, not always the case, but it is possible that it will upset them uh, and they won't reproduce for about a year. It takes a little bit of time for them to kind of get used to their new surroundings. Uh, but you can also run into problems uh, with aggression uh, because when you put them in a new enclosure, they may reset and want to battle for dominance in the new enclosure. So I'm talking, of course, with sulcatas and stuff, which is why I'm going to wait a little bit before I put my sulcatas in that new enclosure because um, I want to wait uh, a little bit more into the summer. And this way, uh, we're not really going to have any issues as far as, you know, the breeding situation with those guys. But there they all are, just some beautiful radiated tortoises in this new enclosure, which I'm so thrilled about. I just love the fact that they're doing their thing, grazing on grass and being tortoises. So rad. All right, everybody, there you go. A new Camp Cannon video for you. Thanks for joining me. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Head on over to patreon.com slash camp if you want to help us support these videos help us support the animals at camp and don't forget we have the camp cannon army channel where we're posting new videos there new content that you can't find anywhere else we're just crazy we got two channels going as if we don't have enough work 
we don't care. We're working for you and the animals, everybody. So there you have it, information, fun, animals, and uh, thanks everybody. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see you all soon.